Good evening. I am going to be taking you along on my week this week. I'm actually about to head to the train station because I'm going to a festival. I'm going to Park Life. Really excited going with those of my friends. It should be a fun time. Kind of scared because it's like a two day festival, Saturday and Sunday. And I'm not really good at doing two days in a row. And I do plan on getting obliterated. Because when I was younger, my mum let me go to like one festival. I went to this thing called Tenants Vital. That was the only one I went to in Belfast. And like, I just want to live out my like 17 year old dreams of going to like an English festival. But yes, I'm going to pop off now. I'm giving Phil those treats because I feel bad for leaving him. I'm obviously not leaving him in my flat on his own. He would die. I have a friend coming to stay with him, but it's still sad saying goodbye. I love you. You haven't been on camera in ages. He's doing so well. And I also taught him how to sit. I do not have time for this. My train's about to leave in like 10 minutes, but I need to show you this. It's actually incredible. Phil, sit. Good boy. Did you see that? That was incredible. Also, outfit of the day. I have this little like jumper on and it does look like it's a jumper that was not finished being made. But I think it's really cute. My nipples are very much out. This vest is from Brandy Melville and these are my motel trousers. Also, how ridiculous is this? This is the size of the case that I'm bringing for a two day trip. Two days. Okay, off to Manchester. We made it. I got to join the juice. And Tilly, what did you get for our journey as well? And some still water with probiotics yeah, inside it. And some hard stamina salsa. A hard seltzer. It's <laughs> like me And a rise <laughs> seltzer. <laughs> I didn't want a flaccid one. <laughs> a flaccid seltzer. <laughs> okay, we have just arrived. Wait, listen. Like, the, the people in the room beside us are literally having a full-blown festival in itself in the room. This is our bathroom. Nice. <laughs> nice big shower, actually. Wow. You come in here. Nice full-length mirror, which is important for the festival fits. I have no idea what I'm wearing yet, so that's still something we need to figure out. Nice big double bed for me and you, Tilly. Little dressing area to do our makeup. And then this is our view. Costa del Manchester. We are here at Park Live. And look who's joined us. I'm in my um, ski goggle era. I'm in my King Kylie era. Not really. I'd say you're giving more um, Rob 2020. Oh, let's do outfits of the day. Oh, you're not going to say where everything's from? No, I'm gatekeeping. <laughs> okay, top from. Skirt from knee high, belt from Tilly's wardrobe, shoes from Poundland. Oh, Cortez. Oh, you know that. Top, Scott on top. Hair from the barber. Top from the aunt. Those shorts. Shorts from. You like? Okay. Likes. They're from Boohoo Man. Top is jeans. This is all from Olivia's, Olivia's wardrobe. Olivia's wardrobe. My shoes. Oh. Okay, I'm in love with an emo girl. Why are my lips like brown? I have a tequila 7 up. What do you have? Ultra Tropical Red Bull. Oh, you're gonna be bouncing off the walls. <laughs> This is what a festival looks like. If you ever wanted to know what Coachella is like, you're seeing it right now. Just girls in little mini skirts and high boots having fun. We decided not to go to day two of Park Live because we're absolute losers. We just couldn't hack it. So we did in fact miss like the only two people I really wanted like a lot to see. I wanted to see Tyler the Creator and Megan the Stallion. Um, I'm just going back to London instead. This is really awkward. We have come out for brunch just before we get our train back. We're at we're at Evelyn's in Manchester. I got an iced coconut matcha. I pushed the boat out, guys, and I got avocado and beans on toast. Destroyed. I am back in London. I just jumped in the shower because I was sweating that whole train journey home. You know, like when you when you're sweating when you're hungover, it's the most disgusting thing ever. I can I think I was like sweating alcohol out of my skin. My friend who was looking after Phil actually stayed here, and they're out at the minute. Um, but they left their dog because their dog stayed here as well. And like this is their dog. Oh my gosh. Should we go on a walk? Shall we go on a walk? His name is Nasty, and he's the cutest little doggy in the world. He's like a little pig, though, listen. 
ASMR. Him and Phil actually get on really well. Phil's like really, really good with other animals. He's like, just gets on with whatever it is. Oh dear. Have you just been sick? Oh dear. Who did that? Mummy, I've been sick. He always throws up when he's like excited, but we're gonna bring him on a walk. Maybe go get a wee coffee. We join the juice. Let me get changed, we'll go. Okay, I'm ready for my walk. I'm wearing um, the motel parachute pants in black. I saw a trend on TikTok being like, I hate parachute pants and it like went viral and I was like, this is so upsetting because they're basically all I wear. They're just so comfortable. The motel ones are so light. It feels like I'm wearing nothing and I love wearing nothing. I love being in the nude. If I could be a nudist, I genuinely would. Recently, I've started like wearing bras with these vests because I just like the shape that it gives me, but I obviously don't have any boobs. So I have the Victoria's Secret bombshell bra. I remember Kylie Jenner saying in like 2016 that she uses it. Really, she probably just got a boob job. But she influenced me and I went and bought myself a Victoria's Secret bombshell bra and it is just all padding. I feel like if you actually have boobs, it would make your boobs look amazing. But for me, it just makes me look like I've got a little something. Like, look at that. That looks like I've got boobs. Okay, let's go. So then we went on our walk. I actually love doing this so much because I feel like I can pretend that I'm a dog owner. Got myself a little coffee, Joe and the juice. And then, oh my God, how cute is this the way he lies? He literally looks like a rotisserie chicken. And then I went to the park and there was just these like random exotic parts flying around and they would like land on this guy's arm. I think it was like the coolest thing I've ever seen in my entire life. And then I went and got my laser done, my laser session. It fucking wrecked. Okay, I'm home now after my laser. It's such an intense experience. I feel like I haven't really spoken about it on my YouTube channel, but basically, I started getting like full body laser because I always like I've shaved since I was like fucking nine years old. I remember a boy in my class told me I had gorilla legs and ever since then I have shaved. I mean, I'm not like a religious shaver. Like sometimes I will just like for the fun of it, let my hair grow as long as it can. But like when I'm on summer holidays and stuff, I like to be silky smooth. And I was like, fuck it, why don't I just get laser hair removal? I've pushed it off for the longest time because it just seemed like such effort. Like you have to go for like six appointments over the course of a year. That's a year long commitment, that's a lot for me. So I was like, do I bother like putting in that much effort and like money into something when I could just shave. Like shaving is not that hard. So I booked in for one like full body laser equipment to see if I saw a difference and holy fuck it made such a difference. I got like my full legs, my arms, like got quite hairy arms. I actually don't mind the hair on my arms, like that's completely normal, but the hair on my arms goes up into my hands and fingers. I've got quite hairy fingers and that's not my favorite thing in the world. I got full bikini done, so I don't have to worry about like ingrown hairs and stuff. Whenever I said I want my full bikini done, I didn't realize that like, if you say full bikini, you're also getting your anus done. And so like, they're not in that appointment. I was lying on my front, both hands like this, like spreading my cheeks while this woman was pushing something in my asshole to laser off all the hairs. And like, I've never even like had like, a gynecologist appointment. I've never had a bikini wax before. Like this is my first like experience with someone up in there. Actually, that's a lie. One time I had to go to the doctors and they put their finger in some of my butthole. But like this, it's very intense. You just have to fully be like, this is me. Kind of sore as well, but um, it's so worth it. Like the, the difference I saw from one session was crazy. Okay, I'm not gonna go sort myself out for the day. I don't really have much plan for today, but We'll see where the day takes us. Okay, I'm ready. I am wearing these new shorts I got in Randy Melville. They're a bit long for my liking. I never really wear shorts this length, but I just think they're cute. And you know what? It's probably better having shorts this length than having my cheeks hanging out because usually my butt cheeks are hanging out. This vest is also from Randy Melville. This cardigan is from Beginning Boutique, I think. I literally got it like four years ago and I wear it every week. I'm obsessed with this cardigan. And then I'm wearing my little Mew Mew loafers. I'm actually obsessed with. They're my favorite shoes. I think they're my favorite shoes that I own. Um, That's a lie. I actually got these boots the other week. Let me show you. They are so cool. They're like these big red, like patent leather cardboard boots. So not me. Like when am I ever gonna wear them? Guarantee I'll wear them once. Oh, I think they're so cool. I also got some Yeezy slides. I went to Greece recently and I couldn't find my slides anywhere. So I went and got some Yeezy slides. Only 60 quid, okay? 60 quid is quite expensive for a pair of slides, but they are so comfy and they're really like flattering. I don't know, they're just really, really nice. I think because they're so chunky. I quite like chunky shoes because they make my ankles look a bit more slender. I don't know. I think now I'm gonna go to Superdrug because today, a campaign that I am part of is being released. We filmed this campaign months ago and I wanted to stop talking about it so much. I always get questions on like what mascara I'm using because it's actually amazing. Like, look at that. 
wow and i can never tell you but now i can tell you it's called the thrill seeker from rimmel they've got like the wee stands up and boots and i think my face is on it so i'm obviously gonna go see it every time now i walk past the super drug i will be going in to see it yeah let's go see that for the first time very exciting sorry i was actually about to leave and then i got a package arrive i think it's from lexota lexota aren't my favorite sunglasses ever if you ever see me wearing a pair of sunglasses and you're wondering where it's from it's nine times out of ten lexota oh they sent me three pairs i saw that they brought out a new collection and it's kind of giving like dad cycling glasses so let's try them on for you okay okay how do they look loving these like that it's a bit of color as well because i don't usually wear glasses with color okay and then we just have a pair of like plain black ones as well oh i think i might wear these ones today these are fun oh i like these thank you lexola i'm absolutely buzzing with my new sunglasses no, let's go to Superdrug. Oh my god, I got so nervous recording in here, but that's me. The face of the Rimmel Mascara, I actually cannot believe it. It's so cool. If you're ever in Superdrug, keep an eye out for me because you might see me. Good morning. It is now the next day. Sorry, I keep like doing things during the day and then like passing out or just like sitting on the sofa all night. So I never like vlog at night. I only vlog during the day. But I'm actually doing something tonight. I'm being fun and young tonight, so I will vlog that. I'm actually heading now to an event with Alexander McQueen. It's like a breakfast event, but I'm running really late. But this is my outfit. It's just like little cute dress. Fun. I don't know I'm gonna wear the cardigan because it is 32 degrees today and that's just a little bit unnecessary. Yeah, I thought I'd bring you along with me. Let's go have some breakfast, even though I've already had breakfast, because if I have a breakfast event, I will be eating breakfast before. Because trust no one when it comes to breakfast, trust only yourself. They're not gonna have avocado beans on toast, realistically, are they? No. Really? Yeah, that's where, like, yeah. No, I like my Okay, I'm back for my breakfast now. I had some porridge, it was lovely. I'm about to get ready and go to my friend's house. They are having people over to their balcony and they got a paddling pillow because it's like 34 degrees today in London. So we'll get ready in a second, but before, I just want did to say that I am gonna be going home tomorrow for a funeral which is really really sad someone very close to my family actually passed away and yeah I'm going home for the funeral <laughs> oh my god stop I feel like I haven't really been vlogging that much <laughs> stop crying um I feel like I haven't really been vlogging that much this week because of it oh no my makeup's running and I'm going really red I'm obviously vlogging this week and I'm gonna be going home so you're gonna see that. So I just wanted to like let you guys know why. Yes, my mum and dad will be in the vlog tomorrow and George, which I'm really excited because I haven't seen my, my dogs in ages. No, I look like a mess. But anyway, let's get ready to go to my friend's balcony. We have arrived. I'm really sweating. You're so tired. Yeah, because I have a garden, so I've been in it every day. Okay, Briger. I to have a slice of that one. I feel like I want a I feel Sunday. Yeah. yeah, I'm not addressing it. Fellow! Fellow! Bonjour! Bonjour! Simone is the best, no? <laughs> oh my god! Oh Whoa. my god! <laughs> my shirt's flammable. <laughs> they don't have any hot dog bars. This is real meat. Yeah, yeah, I'm ready for the shots. I'm not doing that. You all do, dear. Go, what the fuck did you just say? Bob Batman, that pissed me off. <laughs> Have you ever met Trisha Paytas? What's she like in person? Shall I stop now? <laughs> Hi, Lucas. Cheers. Oh, wait, sorry, I just messed my dance. How odd of character is it that. What jokes should I have? Did that look good? Who's stuck, stuck in a boot? She's stuck in a boot. Let's go get her out of the boot. Stop. Oh, Pull me, but I don't want to rip my shoes. Oh my god, look at me. <laughs> Girls. Girls. <laughs> I told you to go to bed 20 minutes. I swear, stop. Why is it on your foot? Because we were trying to make an outfit. A boots and bikini. Yeah, that, was the, that was the look. There we go. and sweating and it's only seven o'clock okay i'm gonna put on a little bit of makeup because we actually are going out now to a party i could go to sleep i've just come upstairs to my friend's bed and i will fall asleep i think it's like the sun it's 32 degrees and all the drink i'm just like i don't know if i can do this anymore absolutely and we're off to the party how are you feeling media i'm a bit upset <sighs> some tattoos then 
I woke up very hungover and made myself some beautiful avocado and beans on toast. I'm actually getting hungry looking at this. Then I wanted to show you this cup that I got from Starbucks. The straw changes color depending on how hot and cold it is. It is so cool. It's my favorite cup in the world. Then I headed to the airport with my coffee, got on the plane. And then you can always tell you're in Belfast whenever you see all this like Tato merch. Like for some reason, we're so proud of these crisps. Then my mum picked me up from the airport, bad B in her little convertible. And then we got boo gym, obviously. Hello, doggies. Hello, doggies. It's me. It's me. Ah! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Hello. So I'm obviously home. I just arrived home and I went straight to boo gym and I got myself a burrito. I've just never had a bad experience in boo gym, like not once in my life. It's a burrito place in Belfast. If you watch my videos, you know it's like my favorite thing in the entire world. But like the people that work in there are just absolutely delightful. The girl that was serving me was my brother's girlfriend's best friend. So like not even that close of a, like a connection. And I went to pay and she was like, you know what, that's it. Like you can leave. And I was like, this is why I come back every time. Honestly, just brightened my day. I was having a bit of a shit day and that's just brightened my day. I'm gonna eat this burrito. I'm gonna watch a bit of my new show that I watched. I started on the plane. It's called First Kill on Netflix. It's for like vampires and teens. And I love that shit. I love vampire diaries. I love Twilight. I got no rice and vegan three bean chili and then all the salsas and guac as per usual. And I'm so excited about it. First bite. I can't put it into words. No, I will say, hand on heart, I think Belfast is a shithole. I would never, every time someone's like, oh, well, I've, I've always wanted to go visit Belfast. I'm like, why? What is there? There's a Titanic museum. That is it. Like, why have we made a museum to boast about the fact that we made the Titanic? Like, it literally fucking sank. Like, that's embarrassing. But the one thing I would say is, go on holiday to Belfast to try fucking Boojum. I think it's the best thing in Belfast. I'm sorry, you will never find a burrito like this in London. You, you, won't, you just won't. I have tried and tested a lot of burritos and they don't even come close. This room makes me feel so nostalgic of like whenever I was 17. Hello and look who's here. She literally is all over me like a rash. Everyone is always like cats like don't have emotions and like don't remember people but like Tigger hates everyone. Her vagina is shaved as usual in case anyone's wondering by the way. Tigger hates everyone but as soon as I come home she's like on her back like making me rub her belly. Like this means this kind of behavior from a cat means they're in love with you. Look at her. She's tiny. She basically is a whore and got pregnant when she was like eight months old. Like you're definitely not supposed to get pregnant at that age. But because of it, it like stunted her growth. So she's just a really tiny little cute cat with a shaved vagina and I love her. Listen to how creaky my bed is. You couldn't be in any funny business in that bed. Hey, I actually didn't really vlog much else of when I was home. I was literally only home for like a day and a half and it was kind of filled with... um seeing family and family friends and stuff. I actually wasn't even gonna post this vlog, but I posted on TikTok being like, do you guys care that it's a bit depressing? Like I'm crying at one bit. Like I don't like crying in videos at all. And everyone was like, no, just post it anyway. So I posted it. I hope you don't mind. I really missed you guys. And I've got a video coming in a couple of days. So I hope you enjoyed this video. And I, the next video is more of like an update and a Q and A. Cause I feel like I haven't chatted to you, like updated you on my life recently. So that's what the next video is gonna be. Okay, I'll see you in my next video. I love you so much. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.